Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to talk about green water in a catfish farm. You may have noticed it that you change water in your farm. Before you know what is happening, this water turns green and have these slimy things, you know, doing some funny things on top of the water. Some people are very worried that this may be toxic to their fishes. They are very worried that, you know, what will happen? They don't want to lose their fishes. And I I actually understand their concern. So let's look at this. What can cause this kind of green situation on the pond? And what is the side effect of this green situation in our pond? That's what we are going to be discussing. But before we go ahead and discuss that, just if you've not followed us, follow us on our pages and subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel so that you can always get our stunning videos and if you have any question whatsoever please don't be shy to ask these questions and like I said in all my videos I keep saying it if you're having any challenge in your farm just do a two to three minutes video do this video when you are feeding that gives me an overall view of what's happening in your farm just send it to me I look at it and I will tell you exactly what will be able to help you out of the problem that you are facing so today it's good we discuss this so that people that have issues pertaining to this will know the solution i'll be right back see you again my pond i changed this water this morning it's just this morning that i changed this water if you look at the water is very clear they look at algae so what should I do? What should I do? Is Welcome back. So this uh, green slimy, like you just watched in the video, yeah, um, texture. They look disgusting, if you ask me. And uh, again, people are worried about it in the pond. People have a lot of stories about it in the pond. But first of all, it's called a green algae. That green algae you are seeing is um, as a result of some refraction, refraction on water surface. It happens mainly on surface pond like tapolin, uh, the rubbers, and... Um, the concrete pond but sometimes you see it in ethan pond when you have direct sun on things that have color you see it more it happens on black ponds but it's not as more as um reflective ponds like colored pond like white ponds and these things so when the sun heats up that water it forms this algae but the thing is this does it have any side effect on your fishes? No. Some people will, will argue with it. I tell you, oh, it affects the oxygen level in the water. It's not correct. It doesn't affect anything. Now, the only thing is that if your fishes are not hungry, they won't come out because the thing is blocking them. But if they are hungry, you put food. They scatter everywhere to eat. So those algae moves aside. If if your fishes are very active as they are getting bigger there will be no algae in your pond it happens mainly when the fishes are very small like if you just stop them at the juvenile size the reason is that you know the force of them moving the water is not much then so when they are moving that water it doesn't affect the algae but as they grow bigger <coughs> the algae disappears because now they can shake the water massively and this will just scatter the algae so this doesn't have any side effect but you know sometimes what you see affects your decisions so some people when they look at that stuff like that it, they are not comfortable with it it affects their psyche it affects their thinking so no matter what you say they don't believe it so what you're going to do to solve this problem is use a sieve that sieve used in filtering your rice, you can attach it to a long pole. You also use it and scoop all these things out. So anytime you do it, it goes. But once there is sun reflection, you see that. 
Then some people will say, okay, you know what? I have money and I'm not interested in doing this. Can I build um, a roof over the pond? You, you, I know you've seen people building roof over the pond, but my answer is don't build roof. The reason is simple. If you want the best result from your fishes, they need sunlight. They need sunlight. Go and consider ponds that people put inside house with full roof on top and the one outside. You know, you you see the result. If you did simple biology, you know about what you call photosynthesis that plants need. Even animals need it. So the, the, the fishes they need it. Even you as a human being, sometimes you need sun. You see people going outside sun just to take sun. You've heard about vitamin D. That's that's the fact. So fishes actually need sun. So if you put them in an enclosure where there is no sun, you are not helping them. They need sun for the best growth, strong, for them to be agile. They need sun. So there's no need. The, the algae is not an issue in the pond. I shouldn't bother you. But like I said, if it bothers you, use a sieve. You can tell your workers, every morning they come, they use the sieve and remove it. So when the sun happens again, they come the next day, they remove it. And it doesn't disturb anybody. But if your fishes are getting bigger, you won't see those algae again because the fishes itself, you see them when they move, you know, they are now big, they are now strong. So any movement they do, they use their tail to wipe out those things. So you won't see them. Well, the, 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 most times you see them is when they are still very small because they, then their capacity to do all those things is not there. So you will naturally see that the algae will just be flourishing better when these fishes are smaller. So that's just the truth. So it depends why I'm, I brought out this video is that I people always talk about algae. So we give you some um, chemical situation that you will use in the pond. Please and please, when you put chemical inside the pond, you are not helping your fishes. I'm going to do a, vid a video to talk about these things because what you don't understand is that fishes itself, they have their own natural component of their body. So once you put all those things now, you are reducing their system to fight all those things. So the natural self-defense in their body system is what you kill when you put these things in the pond. That's why it's not advisable to always, oh, someone said you pour it in the pond. No, you're just killing the immune system of these fishes. The natural immune system they have to fight infection you now reduce it because of these things that you put. So that's why I don't like people always going for drugs, for chemicals. It's not the best. Even you as a human being, if you start taking treatment every moment, you now become so fragile. Your system cannot fight what they can ordinarily fight. So whenever anything happens, you now rely on drugs. That's why I see it's not always advisable to morning, afternoon, night to take drugs. Simple. It's same thing with fishes. So, please, this algae is not dangerous in the pond as it may look and as some people may have told you. All you need to do is allow your fishes grow, you won't see this algae again. They will remove it for you. But if for some reasons that, you know, it's affecting the way you look at the pond, like I said, what you simply do is get a, a sieve. Sieve is what you use in, you know, filtering water from your rice. Attach it to a pole. Every morning, they scoop it out and... The fishes are fine. So if you have more questions on this or you have any con troubling facts, you know, on this, just drop it in the comment section and I'll be able to help you look into it and find the solution to that. And if you are having challenges in your farm, simply do a two to three minute video. Send it to me. Do this video when you are feeding. Like I also say, it gives me an overall view of what happens in your pond. And I will be able to give you a more excellent and accurate solution. So until I come your way next time, I remain your Snell Oge of Lenos Farm. Keep farming. It's a worth life. Hey, y'all, come look at this.